Hey guys, um, so MapNet Surface um, has been causing me a lot of trouble and so when it's like separated, so like this one here and this one here has a gap and there's no connection between them so basically what would happen without the um, off mesh link is the character will just be stuck here. We could make sure our worlds are connected um, and then bake it. And bake it. But sometimes our world isn't. Oh, sorry, I have other issues. I just need to bake everything. Um, no comfort, but you don't always want them to be connected because because for example, you may just want the agent to jump over, and so that's when you would use an off mesh link. Uh, but manually placing them around hundreds of them, thousands of them, for like a world that spawns at runtime. Defeats the purpose of using MathMesh Surface. You may as well just use the old version. Um, so for that, I came up with a dynamic solution that doesn't have to generate billions of MathMesh. I mean, I mean, sorry, off mesh link. It's pretty simple in practice. Is I place a start position where the agent is. And the end position in front of them, basically. Um, there are a few issues like if you actually have it always activated, the agent will start up because he's constantly trying to traverse it. Um, so I've came up with a script to avoid that. I'll show you how it plays out and current issue. So yeah, it jumps over that. It jumps over this pretty well too. Um, I've done no animation, it's just whatever it is. So this can transverse onto that, onto a terrain. This is actually two terrains here. So if you look at it inside the other maps, there's actually two terrains. Each has their own map mesh surface. Uh, you can do children if you want, you don't have to do all. A little more individual. You can see there is like a an actual jump because it is two separate map mesh. So it's using the um, link. Whereas if you had, because these are actually pretty much connected, um, but there is a gap between them. Not gap, but like, you know, um, not that there's a gap, but because these are two separate nav mesh surfaces, it automatically have a gap or spacing, so you can't walk past it. If you want them to be walk passable, you would have to use the collect them together. I don't know if volume works, I know it all works. I'm gonna try volume, let's try volume. Oh, volume, volume, probably work. I don't know, I haven't used this much to be honest. Okay, that just went wrong. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with that, to be honest, but you can do all if you want them to be connected. Um, but that's not the point of this video. It's to show you that you can jump between them and how it's implemented. Um, so an agent just has a normal NAFMESH agent. It has, at the moment, just a test navigation script because I really was just doing testing. It references the agent the target, so where it wants to go to, and the off mesh link. Um, really just have a the main point of view is the off mesh link. I just set the start position to where the agent is, set the end position to be where it tries to go, um, and then I update the position. This just brings it like to where it should be. Um, this is just like, hey, it's three meters in front. 
so it always create this point to this point. Um, then it just checks the distance to path n. So like path n happens when you're let's say like here the path has ended. Um, you can see here like because these are not actually connected and the jump is not far enough, it's not going to jump. Um, you can increase that if you want to, but I don't want my agent to jump here. I actually don't know if this will jump. Yeah, it does jump. Um, but you don't want that, or I don't want that. In my game, if I have a game where he needs to cross here, I probably want to build him a smart path. I want him to go around instead. So this would have to be connected. That's I guess is another problem. <laughs> that that is way too much. I wonder if two looks nicer. Um, oh, doesn't really matter. Besides the point. Um, back to the script just to explain it a bit more. Um, we check if the distance to the path n matches the agent's radius, which is the radius on um, the avoidance, because it will, if this radius and this check is different, it um, it won't detect it properly. So hey, if the agent has stopped, basically is what we're saying here. Agent has stopped, has stopped. That can't go further, can't go further. Go further. Then we just turn on the off mesh link. Um, this part here looks is kind of like ugly, but what it does is hey, we're just increasing, we're just counting how long has the agent stopped for. Uh, I think this should be inverted to be honest. No, that looks like, that looks ah uh, well, whatever for now. So if this stop elapse has been more than one second, this is. Just a bug that I've encountered is like, hey, the agent technically is where the off mesh link is, but it just won't consider it. <laughs> so here yeah, I'm just activate. I'm just reactivating. I'm deactivating the agent and then reactivating him right away, um, which fixes that problem. And then we just turn on the off mesh link. I feel like these two probably do the same thing. I don't know much about off mesh links to be honest, but hey, it's a solution that seems to work well. Um, so yeah, I'll show you again. I haven't tried different speed of agents, so let's try. This is pretty fast, so it's crazy. But yeah, this now gives you a off mesh link that happens everywhere, and really, you're only placing one off mesh link. And you're only updating it um, one time. This, um, yeah, like this situation here, you probably want to build, if you build more, a, um, you probably need your platforms to be connected. Actually, I actually, I don't know, like I think if it's connected, yeah, you probably want to connect it. If you need it more like a platform thing, you may have to make invisible things. I guess that's the thing where these are just not fake as one, but your world would be a lot bigger. This is more like simulating like a bigger world that like, you know, at least by 100 meters by 100 meters or 50 by 50, then you won't get too many of that situation. <laughs> 